Hello everybody, I'm back with this beautiful tutorial where I'm doing a soft uh, aubergine eye with a little loud lip. It is perfect and it's perfectly romantic. You can wear it for a wedding, for a date night, as you wish. So you want to see how I got this? Keep watching. For the face, I'm using my Lacme 95cc cream. You know how much I like this cream to prime and to moisturize. Then I'm just going in with my foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Polish Foundation. I'm taking it on the back of my hand and then onto my beauty blender and just dabbing it into my face. And the beauty blender makes it look fabulous. It just blends like a dream. Then I'm going into color correcting. Uh, I'm using my Derma Color Camouflage Cream. On the usual places, you know the drill. On my eyes, around my eyes, around my lips because those are little pigmented. And then just taking the same beauty blender and blending it all out. It's a dab beauty blender, uh, so it works wonders. We all know how it works. So yes. Then just taking the Maybelline Treat Me Concealer. I'm just placing it under my eyes first because I don't like it to dry out till I place it everywhere and I'll blend it out first. And then I will place it on the other uh, parts of my face that's in between my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow and on the chin. And then taking the same beauty blender, I'll blend everything out. Then I'm just setting all the places I concealed with the translucent powder from Prada. Then getting into contouring, I'm using uh, my Morphe uh, highlighter, precious highlight, uh, highlight and contour palette. And uh, using the two darkest shades and contouring uh, my cheekbones, uh, jawline, the forehead, uh, my nose and a little bit, yeah. Then just going in with my NYX eyebrow pencil and filling in my eyebrows. Uh, now eyebrows depends on your mood. My mood was just very natural so I haven't gone too heavy. Uh, so just very naturally filled in my eyebrows and then brushing them out to brush off any excess product or any uh, hair clamps or something like that. Then taking this Miss Clay concealer and just using it as my primer for my eyelids. Uh, I always like to use primers before I put my eyeshadows. Just makes my eyeshadows sit very well. Also, just sharpening up the uh, brow uh, to give it that sharp look. Nothing to mention, just intense, just very natural. This concealer is very creamy, so you want to take just a little, it goes like a long, long way, so just a little does the job. Then I'm going to uh, dab it with the beauty blender so there are no harsh edges and just set it with the translucent powder because you don't want it to look cakey. Then with this Makeup Revolutions palette, I'm picking up that color and putting it just into my crease. Uh, I like working into my crease first and then on the eyes. That's the way I like going from top to bottom. So just building on the crease, then taking the dark brown color in the same palette and placing it on the outer V's. Uh, going a little bit into the crease, I'm using a tapered blending brush to do this. Uh, just placing it on my outer crease and then blending off again, placing the color and then blending off. Then I'm using this color from the Kralon eyeshadow palette. This is called uh, Aubergine. It's a nice, uh, not plum. It's like a uh, ashy purple color. It's not uh, a very warm purple color. It's like a little like ashy purple color, but it's beautiful. It looks uh, beautiful beautiful on your eyes so I'm just placing it on the outer corners and uh, towards the inner, inner corners I'm not feeling the entire eyelid but from the outer corners towards the inter uh, inner corners of my lid and sorry I am stammering but I'll try and be a little more clear yes using the same color I'm placing it on the lower lash line so just connecting the upper lash line to the bottom lash line and then using that light shade from the same palette again and uh, putting it on the inner corners of my eyes. I like using lighter colors on the inner corners because they just open up your eyes uh, and make them look a little big. I have big eyes, but who doesn't want bigger eyes? So just placing that color there and also on my brow bone. I am not into using shimmery highlights lately. So yeah, I always use these matte colors. They look so beautiful, it just looks so beautiful. Then I'm using this NYX Wonder Pencil on this pencil is a nude pencil and it looks Fabulous if it's the one right here. And yeah, I'm just going to line my waterline. And this is going to just make my eyes look much more bigger and beautiful. Then I'm going to do my ever so lovely ring liner. You've seen me do this so many times. 
with the same product this is the l'oreal super mm -hmm. l'oreal super intense liner yes it is beautiful it just is beautiful i have been in love with this product so just drawing my winged liner you see me do this so many times yes then i'm going in with blush i use two blushes i use the makeup revolutions big blush as well as my favorite essence baby doll you've never seen me wear any anything harsh i always go very light on my blush because i don't know i'm not a blush person but yeah just to complement the rest of the makeup going in with the blush on uh my cheekbones and i put too much there <laughs> uh no problem i'll just take a big blender and dab 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 and it'll be fine it'll get sheer next is highlighter and that's my favorite part the simana highlighter than the fine brush and it's on the highest points of my face on the cheekbones i love highlighting and i like taking that uh, that same highlighter look into my brow bone it just looks perfect on the sides of my forehead because that's where the high, light hits your face and you want that to catch light on uh, the bridge of your nose keep its bow and on my chin going in with lipstick i'm not going in with the liner i just didn't feel like that day i'm using this uh, powder matte lipstick from shambo it's called gypsy red and it is beautiful it's a beautiful shade it looks fabulous on deeper skin tones especially my skin tone of course it looks great on lighter skin tones skin, tone, skin skin tones as well but it looks beautiful on my face and i love this and it just complemented the entire look the eyes being a little more you know orangey plummy it looks nice I just went in with a concealer to give uh, my lips a little more defined shape and then took the beauty blender and blended it all out. Then just to set everything, we use the fixing spray and again I go in with my highlighter because it looks fabulous. And you will see this is the final look. I hope all you people have enjoyed this and uh, I have loved creating it for you. Please let me know what else you want me to create. And what else you would would like me to uh, uh, review or do for you? I'd be very happy. Leave your comments down in the comment section, and I'll be happy to read it. Also, uh, please, please, please do like and subscribe because that means a lot. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye.